Well, two NASA astronauts are finally back on Earth. They were only supposed to be in space for eight days, but then the mission turned to a, to a more than nine-month-long journey, right? ABC's Nicole D'Antonio is in Washington with details on their long-awaited return. They're working very hard. This morning, a sure safe return home for two NASA astronauts who splashed down off Florida's Gulf Coast after an extended mission in space. And splashed down, Crew 9 back on Earth. <laughs> NASA's mission control in Houston erupting in cheers at this moment. As the SpaceX Dragon capsule arrived home with astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore safely on board, a recovery team pulling the capsule onto a recovery ship. We're overjoyed. I, I watched every crew member come out of the vehicle today. Post landing, it was great to watch Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander come out of Dragon and, and smile and wave as they came out of the vehicle. The astronauts had been on the International Space Station since last summer after an eight-day stopover stretched into a nearly nine-month mission. Wilmore rejected the idea that they needed to be rescued. There's many way to ways to characterize it. Uh, stranded, I don't think, is one of them because we're on the space station. Uh, stuck is not one of them because we're on the space station. Now, had we not made it to the space station, there would have been many adjectives that you could have characterized this by. NASA said in an emergency scenario, they could have used one of their spacecrafts docked to the station, but were waiting for another crew to relieve them. Wilmore, who has two daughters, one in college and another in high school, talked about the toll of being away for so long. I'm going to miss a, most of her senior year in high school. Yeah. Meanwhile, Williams broke the female record for most time on spacewalks, 62 hours and six minutes. Her family filled with pride. I'm very proud of her for being such a role model. I think she's inspired a lot of young girls all over the world. I think she's touched a lot of people. Now, along with Williams and Wilmore, the capsule was also carrying another astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut who took the spacecraft to the International Space Station in September. Nicole D'Antonio, ABC News, Washington.